In this lesson, you will learn to turn the display of a complete reference on or off, turn the display of levels in a reference on or off, and clip or mask a reference. Continuing in MicrostationBasics.dgn in the Streets model, open the References dialog. In the References dialog, click the Display column to turn the display of the attached reference on or off. Here's a tip. If a column is not visible, right-click on the column headers and check the column that you want to be displayed. To control the display of levels in a reference, open the Level Display dialog by clicking the Level Display icon on the Home tab in the Primary group. In the Level Display dialog, select the Hydrography model in the Hierarchy tree. The Active model is at the top of the Hierarchy tree, with the Reference models below it. When you click the Active model or a Reference model, the levels contained in that model are listed in the dialog. Click once or twice on the Use column header to show all of the used levels at the top of the list. Click on the Creek and creek fill levels to turn them off. The elements on those levels disappear. Next, turn off the river, lake, canal, and the river fill levels. Right-click on the level list and in the context menu, select All On to turn all levels in the reference file on again. Close the dialog. If you want to display only a part of the referenced model, you can clip the reference using an element or a fence. Select Place Block and create a block that includes part of the referenced hydrography model. In the References dialog, select the reference in the list and click the Clip Reference tool in the Dialogs toolbar. In the Tool Settings, ensure that the model is set to Element and select that block. The part of the reference hydrography model outside of the block disappears. To hide parts of the reference within the clip boundary, you can create one or more masks using the Clip Mask tool. Note, this requires you to use a fence to define the mask's boundary. Select the Place Fence tool in the Selection group on the Home tab. Place a fence to define part of the reference that you want to hide. In the References dialog, select the references in the list Click the Mask Reference tool in the Displays toolbar and accept with a data point. Click Place Fence again to remove the fence. Here's another tip. To create a clip boundary or clip mask for multiple references, Select those references in the list prior to creating the clip boundary or clip mask. If a clipping boundary is created from an element, you can easily move or modify it afterwards by modifying the element. Select Modify Element from the Home tab, Modify Group, and move one of the vertices of the block to change the associated clipping boundary. The clip mask remains undisturbed. You can remove the clip boundary or clip masks one by one. In the References dialog, select the reference that has clippings and click the Delete Clip tool in the References Dialogs toolbar.
The clip boundary and clip mask are highlighted. Select the clip mask and accept with a data point. The clip mask is removed. The remaining clip boundary is automatically selected. Accept again to delete the clip boundary as well. The complete hydrography model is visible again. Note, you can delete a clip boundary or clip mask only for one reference at a time, not for multiple references. Delete the block replaced to create the clip boundary used in this exercise. In this lesson, you learned to turn the display of a complete reference on or off, turn the display of levels in a reference on or off, clip or mask of reference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.